Hey, welcome everyone. I'm Ian Coco, and oh, whoops, <laughs> and welcome back to uh, Celeste's story again. Uh, <clears throat> last episode was a really rough, rough, rough episode, but it's in the past now. And if you're new, you probably don't care. What's important is that we have finished the beginner's lobby, and we got the the rainbow berry, as you can see. So today it's time for the intermediate lobby. Now before we begin, I might do a little timestamp here for when we enter the lobby if you want to skip. But I do have news. I finally upgraded my laptop. I've been talking about it for a while and I even talked about it last episode. But I have I finally have my new laptop and I finally got like extra RAM. Like the extra RAM stick I needed because it came with uh, 6 gigabytes. <laughs> so I upgraded it to 14. And it's so good. I can finally run the lobbies close to 60 FPS stable. It runs like a 60 FPS, but maybe drops down to like 57, 55. I don't know. But they run pretty damn good. And don't even mention the freaking levels. And on top of that, I can. I thought my game had froze. On top of that, my. Uh, my graphics card can actually process shaders now, so the game looks way fucking prettier, like way way prettier. It, it it's so fucking pretty, it's unbelievable. Uh, I I don't have words to explain just how pretty it looks now that you can run shaders properly. Uh, but anyway, without further ado, let's just start the intermediate lobby. I don't know what we have to expect here. I am pretty excited because I'm so used to... Oh god, I'm so used to... To the beginner's lobby. This is not the begin the start I expected. I expected a tester. What's this? Time to get used to the names of the levels. Uh, sleeping under stars, frosted fragments, fifth dimension, low G botany, sea of silk, vertigo. It girl, honey seed, ink, infiltration, supernautica, the tower, construction conundrum, square the circle, deep blue, temple of a thousand skies, midnight monsoon, overfish transportation company, pointless machines. Okay, so less levels overall, but maybe it will make up in difficulty. It will make up in difficulty. So, let's explore a little bit, instead of jumping right into a level, what's this? Frosted Fragments. I don't really have interest in doing a frosted Frozen level, that's the first level here. Here are the credits, I'm not gonna... I'm gonna read them and put a timestamp, yada yada. Uh, it's out of respect to the creators. The development of the Intermediate Lobby was led by Fonda 1515, Holly, Frog, and Scruggle. The layout was planned by Holly with later adjustments from Jet, Jet Turtle. The map entrances were made by Bryson, Dushi, a Fonda 1515, Les, Lero, or Liero, Frog, and Rocket Guy 2. The art was created by Butcherberries, Chaotic, Dante Kayo, Gamation, Leges, or Lex, Lin J, Aline, Muskern, Moose Moose, Nerfert, Frog, Power AV, Scruggle, Toby A, or Toby A, <laughs> and Vexstray, Vexstray, with stat rounds by Dan TKO, and Nerf. The music was composed by Bean Jamin. The lobby was decorated by Bossas Coffee. Fonda 1515, Gamation, Leges, Fra, Scruggle, and Solimono. The lobby was playtested by Bossas, Moose Moose, and Rocket Guy 2. The custom elevator entity was coded by Carapile, or Carapili, I mean. And the custom C platform entity was coded by Summer. The camera was designed by Aiden, Gamation, and Fonda 1515. A special thanks to Gamation for assisting with management responsibilities. Okay, so those are the developers for the lobby. I don't know if they are the developers for the levels as well. 
Oh. What's this level? We should get... Oh, black and white. Vertigo. We should get familiarized with the layout of the lobby. It feels chaotic. That's a pipe. That's a mushroom. Blended into the background. Oh, this looks... Spicy. Fifth dimension. Okay, so something tells me that this is gonna go out outwards. Super Nautica. That sounds so fucking fun, but I'm gonna do a beginner first. I'm gonna imagine all of the beginner levels are gonna be in the start. And yeah, as far as the further you go out from the tree, the harder the levels are, which is pretty intuitive. But for fish transportation company. That sounds kind of interesting. I would imagine they are the puffer fish from farewell. Oh my god, these fucking mushrooms! <laughs> I cannot see them. Oh, what's this? Honey Honey Honeyseed pink. Oh, this. Oh, what the hell? Oh, those uh, tiles look rough. And the whole. Tiling here looks alien. Oh, oh I can. Ooh. Wait, I can fucking travel between lobbies? That's insane. This is not a level, this is just the lobby still. What? What the hell? Wait. No, I could have sworn I... You... That's fucking... Awesome! <laughs> oh my god, that's fucking awesome! That's a rope! That's a fucking rope! Oh my god, I love that! So fucking much! That's an elevator! Oh my god, this goes fucking deep! Temple of a Thousand Skies? What the? Holy... There's so much content here. Let's use the elevator, let's be fancy. I love the elevator is slow as fuck. Oh! Oh come on! There's no fucking bench here. Okay, so that's 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18 hearts. Compared to 21. Ah, I can I can make do with that. Okay, sir, so they are gonna be red hearts now. I see. What's this? Square the circle. That's an interesting name. Oh, what? Uh, that rope doesn't consume. Okay, interesting. I'm just having so much fun exploring right now. Another Forsaken City that dials it. Construction conundrum. I think you just get infinite stamina on the ropes, which is a neat mechanic. I should sit on every bench just to save it. No, I think you don't have to see it, you just have to discover it on the map. Hey, it's a car! Okay. Man, there's so much. It, it looks so pretty. I'm so used to the beginner lobby that seeing a new lobby feels so alien to me. Man, it actually looks pretty. Like, really pretty. What's this? Infiltration. Oh, another level? Ooh. Sea soup. Okay. Okay, we still have like the right side to explore here. Tech tutorial. I don't need to go to the gym, I'm pretty sure. 
No, no, we did that on the first episode of the series. I really don't think it's necessary to do it again. Now, if you remember, on the beginner's lobby there was a secret. On the lobby itself. Oh my god, they fucking drop for no reason. Okay. Oh, deep blue by Mick. Okay. Oh. And it's impressive how Celeste can give me that sense of discovery. Midnight Monsoon. Like, who would have imagined this was possible in, in Celeste? Just having a lobby with levels. I know it's not the first one to do it, but it still feels so weird and I love it for it. This really just is fucking... Well, I mean, calling it Celeste 2 is an overstatement. It's really fucking good, but I, I think we should all understand this is a purely mechanical expansion. Right? Uh, like, Celeste has a story. This has not. This doesn't have, I mean. Which is an important thing to consider. Because the original Celeste is like the story is a huge part of the game. Uh, this has no story, it's just like mechanical levels. Now some levels do have a little bit of story like paint. Which I over hate just because of the golden. It's a good level, casually. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. You're missing still a few levels to find, but we can find them. Now let's keep exploring. I'm gonna do a inner level, so the episode is not gonna be super long. What's this? Low G botany. Ooh. Can I go up the mountain? I still me there's something quirky up here. There is. Oh, <laughs> kitty! Okay, that's the easter egg of the map. If you remember the crab also gave me a kitty. I love this. Okay, that was worth my my time. Oh, it feels so nice being able to record this at 60 FPS, you don't understand. Pointless machines. This lobby though seems like it's so weird because it has this theme of nature all around. But the actual levels seem super tech focused. Which is so weird. I don't. I'm not saying it's bad. It's interesting. Uh, the direction uh, they decide to take with the levels. Okay. So what am I missing? Okay. There's a level up here. Or not? Oh. Huh. Did I already find all 18? No, there's a huge chasm there. And a huge one on the, on the, right, on the left. So... Let's go and explore. Here. So there's all of this here. That I didn't explore at all. Sleeping under stars. That one seems interesting to try. Okay, and there's another chasm around here. Yeah, up here. I didn't explore this. Pretty sure. Or maybe I did. Okay, uh, let's see the... Oh no, there was a, an opening here that I didn't go through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. 
Okay, yeah, you know, this is a huge another area. Or maybe not. Okay, so there's a level there that I didn't enter before. And I think this is the last one I, I was missing. I'm not gonna fucking bother with the labyrinth. Just to see the level name. And that should be everything. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 14 15, 16, 17, 18. Yep, that's everything. Okay, so what level do we do first? There's the soup level. I don't want to do the soup level. Uh, there's vertigo, no, that's an intermediate. Okay, where is this? I I saw sleeping with the stars or whatever it was called. And it interests me. Ever so slightly. Because it has a farewell tile set. Sleeping under stars by Arfi or Arful. I don't know. I cannot read. If that's an I or an L, I'm sorry. But let's see. Oh, it has low gravity. Whoa, it has low gravity. Oh, that's so weird. Oh, and I need a lot of fucking keys, huh? Well, let's go right to left. Shall we? Okay, so this is based on that one farewell room, huh? Yeah, this is gonna be a fun level, though, for an intermediate, uh, for a beginner. I guess my theory that I got out of last episode is right. Uh, these levels, the green levels are gonna be what the yellow levels were before. The yellow levels here are gonna be what the red levels were before, and the red levels here, well, they weren't in the previous lobby. Okay, let's just run for it. Jeez, the fucking low gravity. Okay, I need to bounce it down, then throw that. Oh, I need to go up. The low gravity is so... Oh. It's so disorienting. Oh my god. Is this a remix of Farewell as well? I'm pretty sure it is. You know that the farewell track is my favorite track in the game, by the way. Ah! Okay. That didn't took so long. Okay, if this is a beginner level, yeah, maybe doing the silvers is gonna be out of the question. Okay, so that requires throwing. Hey, I, I know how to throw. Yes, not really in that sense. <laughs> oh, okay. Right. Oh, that has spikes on it. Huh, oh, okay. I don't really know how I'm supposed to do that. No, do I just wait more? I think I just have to wait more. Okay, yeah, just be more patient. Oh god. <laughs> okay. My goodness. Uh, that works, I guess. That's so fucking tight. Okay. Yeah, I'm not doing the silver for this, at least not right now. Okay, I think my issue is that I'm grabbing it as I go up. <laughs> That's not gonna work, Chief. I need to grab it as I either touch it or go down. And that shouldn't give me momentum to the left, but I guess it does. And that should just work. I stood on the spikes? Huh. Okay. 
Uh oh. That's unfortunate. I didn't expect I could just grab it there. Like it's like I didn't learn anything from my mistakes. Oh, b b b b b b b b b okay. <laughs> How to... Hmm. Okay, that works. Oh my god, that was hard. <laughs> okay. So there's not... <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> so there's not one there. Down there, I mean. That's probably where I came from. Is that from here, though? Is that a fucking mechanic? You're telling me... No, 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 no. I don't... <laughs> I was gonna say, you're telling me dream jumping into a fucking jellyfish is a mechanic, but no. I need to grab it to go down. Oh, uh, now I have to dream jump and get the fucking jellyfish. That shouldn't be too hard, though. This seems like the easiest of them all. Maybe start from the bottom. <laughs> oh, I have to... Right. Okay, never mind. Maybe it's not so easy. Hmm. I have to time that properly. Yeah, no, I have to grab the thing and then do that. That's not the direction I was holding. I literally looked down at my joystick to, to make sure. Um, unfortunate, really. <laughs> but this is a quick uh, one that doesn't require much brain power. That's way trickier than it looks. Mm, okay. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's a gauntlet for sure, just to get to another key. My god, this is tall. Okay. Oh, no, I do have to time that. That's awful, that's that's so fucking bad. Hopefully this is a checkpoint. Right, uh, lower gravity, and yeah, it's, it is a checkpoint, so that's nice. Okay, not so hard aside from that. Down trick at the at the start. Okay, so that's four keys to my name. I think that's only four. Not at all. Okay, look. If that's it, then the silver is way more uh, achievable. Okay, that's the entire level, but if something tells me it's not. There were no berries though, either. Hmm. Look, this looks really pretty. Okay, there's a final combat, I see. Let's take it one step at a time.
Jesus, okay. And now we touch this one. I need bounces up here. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. They respawn. Oh my fucking god, this <laughs> you really? Okay. Why is there a wall there? <laughs> that wall is not there by chance, there's something behind it. Oh, okay. I knew it! Huh. Oh, that effect is so... Nice. Is this a checkpoint though? Uh oh. Yeah, I don't think I'm supposed to bump to. I mean, that works. I don't know if that's intended solution, but that works. Oh, it's not over. <laughs> I thought for sure that would be the crystal heart. That that has to be the final room, though, right? Oh my god, what? Oh, that works. <laughs> That's so tight. What? How do I... Oh, I think I... I gotta dash diagonally and get the crystal like that. There's a spring there, I didn't see that. That's so inconsistent though. That, that trick alone, back there, makes me... Fuck off! That works. Okay, this is a crystal heart, but you're serious? Okay, I feel like I'm playing for a while all over again. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, I need to wait more time. I need to start going to the left preemptively. Jesus, okay, I need to start going to the left preemptively. Nope. Oh my god, that's so tight. Huh. I don't really know what I was supposed to do. I need to no but if I jump on the fucking jellyfish on the fucking fish I think I die. We might as well try. Yeah no I just die. Okay so how do I actually do that? I don't know. Okay I think I, I have to throw the jellyfish before I touch the fucking fish and dash onto the fish. I'm pretty sure that's a solution. 
That's not the solution. Oh. I used my dash to go up there with the jellyfish, so now my strategy doesn't work. Dude, can I go diagonally up when I fucking hold my joystick there? Oh my god. No, that's not gonna work. I mean, maybe, I don't know. No, that's specifically designed to not let you do that. I was thinking maybe I have to do it in the reverse order, but no. Yeah, no, I, I just... I don't know, maybe I'm looking at it the wrong way. Maybe I'm looking at it the wrong way. Okay, let me try that. So, you double dip. You go here first. You go here. You go back. And you go here. Wait, what does that accomplish for me? Oh my fucking god, did you really have to kill me right there? Maybe I just have to get a weird boost with the left fish. Oops. Instead of slowing down. Like this fella. Maybe I need to hit them at a weird angle. Whoop. I don't know, I'm lost. I mean, that almost worked. That feels unintended as fuck. Okay, maybe that's it. And I just have to bounce on the fish quickly. Oh, and I can dash into the jellyfish. And that just works. You fucking asshole, I fucking press the dash button. Oh my god. Anyway, I, I, it doesn't matter, I know how to do this. But that, that felt so annoying. Uh, that took a while to figure out because it's so fucking unintuitive. Yeah, I got way too much momentum to the right. It's so goddamn unintuitive. I don't know what they were thinking. Like, this wasn't a good puzzle, it was just like... What the fuck do I do? Oh, oh my god. Yeah, no. Uh, it lines up perfectly when you do it the way I did. But otherwise... Like, if you do it the intended, intended, intuitive way... You just fucking... Don't. Which is super obnoxious. And that's a crystal heart. Why does it look so fucking glitchy? Well, it does bounce me like a normal heart. Let's go! Ah, uh, first crystal heart of the intermediate lobby. Ugh, this looks. That was really. That fucking last room was literally half of my deaths. Not gonna lie. Ah, uh, super intuitive. 
But I got that. The thing. Now... Uh, I could definitely get the silver. It just would take like grinding. And I, I gotta wake up early. Uh, tomorrow it's 8 a.m. right now and I gotta render and upload Undertale. And after I wake up it's 9 a.m. And I'm gonna go watch a new Indian Jones movie with my family at 10 p.m. So uh, yeah I need to wake up and like shower and get ready and whatever. So uh, that's gonna do it for this episode. I took way longer than I really would have wanted to. But whatever. I hope you enjoyed, if you did, don't forget to do the usual, like, comment, subscribe and follow for more, and I'll see you in the next one, bye bye!